Builder confidence on the upswing. Detroit bankruptcy raising contractor questions. Texas tries to curb worker payroll fraud and VA hospital construction work in turmoil. That and more on Construction News Tracker brought to you by Caterpillar and produced by 4constructionpros.com. A six-point rise in the home builder's Wells Fargo Housing Market Index just out indicates the biggest increase in seven years and the third month in a row with a bright outlook. But that doesn't necessarily mean we're totally out of the recession woods, as a hit from federal housing support or higher interest rates could result in unwanted downward pressure. Question marks around the city of Detroit bankruptcy filing as contractors voice their concern over some key projects underway. The city's downtown development district has two big construction sites, a $137 million streetcar line and a $650 million Red Wings Arena district. Officials claim the DDA is a separate entity from city government, though it is being funded by $284 million in property taxes the city apparently doesn't have. Texas will impose a new law January 1st intended to curb payroll fraud and wrongly classifying workers as independent contractors. Lawmakers say there's a small segment of contractors that try to skirt tax bills and other regulations. The Lone Star State claims it lost $54 million in unemployment insurance tax alone in 2012. One of the nation's largest contractors, Kiewit Turner, wants to abandon a Veterans Affairs Hospital site near Denver. In a complaint filed with the Civilian Board of Contract Appeals, the company says the VA is unable to submit building plans within the original design budget and is now some $200 million over. The situation appears to be a mirror of other contract boondoggles when one looks at the numbers gleaned from GAO accounting audits of the federal agency. Las Vegas VA, $260 million over. Orlando VA, $362 million over. New Orleans VA, $370 million over. And Aurora, the Denver VA, $400 million over budget, totaling $1.392 billion over. Congressional committees looking into the cost overruns are trying to come to grips with the problems which have led to hospital opening delays by as much as a year. The CNH Fiat merger is complete. That new name will be a CNH Industrial NV. Fiat had owned 87% of CNH, now tied together with its Case and New Holland Brands and Case IHAG equipment. It'll be the third largest capital goods group in the world. After working 25 years as a welder, one guy has taken his hobby for photography to new heights. Joe Bloom took his camera to the work site of the new eastern span of the San Francisco Bay Bridge. It's the largest self-anchored suspension bridge in the world. Designed to last 150 years, the span has giant shock-absorbing fuses built into it, to withstand an earthquake. It took Joe months to get all the approvals required for him to lug a camera along, and at age 72, it's not an easy feat. Whenever it's finished, the Bay Bridge could surpass $12 billion in cost. Wrapping up this edition, in theory, there is no difference between theory and practice. However, in practice, there is. You're watching Construction News Tracker, watching out for the industry that makes the world a better place, brought to you by Caterpillar and produced by 4constructionpros.com. Reach us anytime at facebook.com forward slash 4constructionpros or at Twitter, where you can leave a message or share us with friends using hashtag construction news as the streaming web never ends.